Have you ever wanted to become an explorer? Travel to new places? See things you've never seen before? Well, that is exactly what the pioneers wanted to do a long time ago in the 1800s. The West was expanding. All the pioneers hoped to find something better over the Western horizon. The New England families were tired of farming those rocky valleys. That made the West look very attractive with the broad and fertile lands beyond the Appalachian Mountains. The Southern farmers, well, they were in a slump of bad luck, and so they also sought new life in the West. The European migrants were offered political freedom and economic opportunity if they made it to the West. Because in the West, you could own your own land and work for your own future. For many people, the West was the place of new opportunities. In the Great Migration, which began after the War of 1812, multitudes of people went to the American interior. The population was growing in the eastern states so much that, and families were so large that only one child could inherit the family home. The rest went to the growing cities or out to the west. During these hard seasons, when crop was failing and prices for food was very high, many headed out to the west for the new beginning. Some would go empty-handed into the frontier. Others carried light and arrived with only an axe and a rifle. Still others tried their best to take family heirlooms, farming tools, seeds of corn, orchard shoots, cattle, hogs, and chickens. Sometimes they were successful and other times they weren't. Because sadly, one cannot prepare for sickness and danger or accidents and misfortune on the way to the west. Some settlers failed and returned to the east. But those who stayed and survived turned the wilderness into a wonderful civilization. In the book, Meet Kirsten, Kirsten Larson and her entire family arrived in America from Sweden in 1854 after a very long sea voyage. She made the long voyage with her family and her very best friend, Marta. In America, everything looked so different to Kirsten from what it looked like in Sweden. The way the people spoke was different. The even the clothes they wore looked strange. When she got lost in the big city of New York, she could not find her family anywhere and became very scared and wondered if America was even worth it. And after having to part with her best friend Marta due to sickness, she wondered if America was really worth it. Will the Larsons make it out west? Well, you'll have to read the story and find out.